Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. I have some good news that I want to share with you. My book, Trigger the Wonder Horse, got first place in the Book Fest Book Awards that was announced on Sunday evening. Thank you so much. I am so incredibly humbled and grateful for this experience. And thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Uh, our journey. Um, this is our story, our true story about hope and the power of prayer and keeping the faith when life gets you down. And when life gets you down, you have to be able to find the courage within yourself and pull yourself up by the bootstraps and carry on. Carry on and just keep putting one hoof in front of the other. You know, the day that I registered for this particular book contest, I was at the coffee shop and it just seemed like I was encountering one challenge after the next from the internet going in and out to the file being too big, distractions, the phone ringing, you name it, it was happening. And I was just like, ah, stop, couldn't do it. Then finally I got it done. So then I came to this particular park and sat down at this bench and I began to pray. And I just said, God, I need a sign. I need a sign to know that I did the right thing. I need a sign to know that it was in alignment with, with your plan for my life and my highest good. And then I asked for, I said, God, can you please send me a sign that I cannot misinterpret? There's just no room for me to, to uh, misinterpret a message at that particular moment. So then I got up and I began to continue my adventure around this park. And as I'm over there in that, that corner, I look down the sidewalk and I notice this white piece of paper. So when I got to the piece of paper, this piece of paper, I unfolded it. And it reads 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. God will never give you the spirit of fear, but the Holy Spirit who gives you mighty power, love, and self-control. I love you, Shannon. I have no idea who Shannon is. I don't even think I saw Shannon that day. But I am incredibly grateful for Shannon for and for God working through her to give me this message when I needed it the most. You know, from my experience um, and our, my journey and adventures in writing this book, I know that God works through people. God, God has to work through people. God works through people. God works through animals. God works through the environment. God works through everything. God, God is omnipresent. And it is our job just to pay attention to what and who is showing up in front of us being our greatest teacher in that moment and to to giving giving us some sort of message that we can apply to our life you know it is no secret that life is full of challenges and ups and downs and in that moment we get to decide who we want to be and how we want to show up for ourselves and each other and this is my invitation to you that um, if life gets you down to, to find the courage and the strength within, to collect yourself, to pray, and to just bring in the, the power of love and the guidance from the Holy Spirit and to find the courage to get up and to continue on and put your best hoof forward. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for being on this journey called life with me. Thank you so much for the support in Trigger the Wonder Horse. And um, I look forward to, to continuing this adventure with you. Have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Namaste.